Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be personalizing this moose straight from Dollar Tree. Now last year I did a personalized elf um, for Elf on the Shelf, which here is the video and I will link that below if you need help with that. Um, but I want to personalize these to see how they look. I've actually seen a few uh, pictures online, but no videos of it yet. So. We will be putting some HTV on the felt ears, which I believe that's felt. And then also I want to put a little something on this scarf so we can see how those turn out. So there's really only a few materials you need for this project. HTV, which is heat transfer vinyl. Your mousse, of course. And they have um, other versions of these at Dollar Tree. I just like the one with the red plaid. And then of course your Cricut machine. Now this is my brand new Cricut Maker. This is one of the first projects I'm going to be doing on it. Um, I have my old machine here, the Cricut Explore Air. I'm still trying to figure out if I'm gonna keep both of those, um, but I'm actually having a problem with space. So I've kind of been considering even doing some sort of giveaway on YouTube, um, even with some of my other supplies and stuff that I don't use anymore. So, um, if you guys have been a part of other giveaways on YouTube, or if you know one that was super fun, let me know, because that is something that I am considering. I just don't know how that works with the, the guidelines and whatnot, um, when it comes to advertisement and whatnot. They are pretty, pretty strict. So, <clears throat> we are ready to open up our... Cricut Design Space, which I am just opening up a brand new um, blank canvas here for us to use. And now with the, the ear part, I'm going to take my mat so I can get like a pretty good estimate on how big those are. So they're about like one inch tall and two inches long. So I am going to be entering my text. Now, of course, you can put whatever you want on these. Um, you can personalize these for a child's first Christmas with their name, put my first Christmas, whatever. But I actually wanna keep this for myself. I like it so much. Um, so I think I'm gonna keep them for myself and put them up on my mantle um, with our Christmas decor. So I'm just going to type out Merry Christmas. And then I'm going to do this in autumn and November, which is one of my favorite, favorite fonts. And if you guys need help downloading fonts, I have videos on that. Um, if you need help picking out your fonts that you have downloaded on your computer, I actually also have a video for that, which I might link that one below because I just used it right before this video to figure out what font I was going to use even for this project. So I can kind of see all my more Christmas, Christmas style projects. Alrighty, so I've got those all together. Oops, and so you see how that actually is filled in, that black spot. So I'm going to need to go back and reposition that eye over a little bit. And I'm not sure exactly why it does that. It's almost like if it overlaps, oops, I moved the wrong one. It's almost like if it overlaps too much, then it just fills the whole thing in. So, all right, and that needs to be, I'm just welding those letters. Okay, it did the same thing over here. So I'm just going to undo that and drag this R down a little bit and see if that will fix it. Nope. Okay, so I'm gonna pull, pull this out. And this is how it is with any font. It's not just this, so just keep that in mind. And I'm gonna select both of those and drag those down so they at least stay somewhat the same size. And so then that Mary is within that two inches that it needs to be. Now this Christmas just needs to you brought in just a little bit and I'm just gonna push this down a little bit too and make that a little bit bigger just so you can actually read what it says on the guy and then um, on the little scarf part here um, I'm gonna measure that out 
and it looks like it is about almost the same. And now, of course, we have the little slits here, so I'm going to make it a little bit shorter. But I'm just going to put 2018 there anyway. So, and I like this font because it um, actually has letters. A lot of the fonts that I've downloaded, they just have the, oh, they have the letters, not the numbers. That's what I meant. Um, so then you're having to pick out a whole different font just for your numbers, and it doesn't really doesn't really look the same. So I'm going to make that a tiny bit smaller just so it kind of looks in line with the rest of that. Alrighty, now that we have our three pieces, we are ready to cut them. Now, here we have these. Since this is um, iron-on, we need to mirror them. And then I'm going to be cutting about a one and a half by six inch piece of HTV for this project. Now since I have two uh, machines in right now, I need to select which one that I want to use, which is my maker, of course. And then I'm going to be setting my material. Now I'm going to be using the iron-on setting, and I'm just going to try the, oops, I passed it. I'm just going to try the everyday iron-on. <clears throat> I actually did um, a heat transfer earlier and it was, it cut all the way through it. Like just the letters were totally cut out like it was a piece of cardstock. So that obviously didn't work. Make sure mirror is turned on, which it is, and iron material is face shiny side down. Which if you haven't used iron on material before, it has a shiny side, which is basically the backing. And then the other side is, this is the side that goes down on your material when you iron it. So, I will show you that part here in a second. But I'm ready to cut that, so I'm just going to cut my pieces, find all that I need. I'm going to add that onto my mat. And then we are ready to load this into our machine. need to weed this piece which is basically just pulling out all the vinyl you're not going to be using this is super easy vinyl to work with if you guys are interested i'll leave the link below but when i first started on cricut i mean i went through so many materials including a lot of the Cricut vinyl and whatnot, just to find like what actually worked because there's, I mean, a ton of, of materials and supplies out there that just do not do what they're supposed to. And that can be really frustrating, especially if you have a lot to do or if you own a shop or if you just have a lot of orders to get out, especially around Christmas, you really need materials that are gonna work, so. I will link all of my favorite, favorite stuff down below, including this vinyl. And even like transfer tape and just regular vinyl. It's hard to like find stuff that actually works, but I've been lucky enough to come across stuff that works for pretty much all of my projects. All right. And there we have our pieces um, so that we can iron on. So I'm just gonna give these a little trim.
and we are ready to iron these bad boys on. Okay, so he is ready to go. I just cut the tag off his butt and the um, tag that they used to ring him up. And I am going to go ahead and turn my iron all the way to the cotton setting, which is the hottest. Shotzi! Shotzi's running around having some fun. Alrighty, and I got my three. And don't mind my arm, I've been having uh, some issues with it. I actually just did a video yesterday about about it because um, obviously I'm doing these videos and I have this total like straight arm, so that's kind of weird. But anyways, um, so I'm going to be putting the 2018 part right there and then the Merry Christmas. Oh, that looks so cute. going to position these oh and actually the little loop on the R I forgot to weed out it's so tiny I can't really see it. Oh yeah that's gonna look really cute. So I will go ahead and do the ears first. Now what I'm going to do is just kind of get that somewhat flat on here and then I'm actually going to be using a Teflon sheet and just placing that over and then I'm going to take my iron, the tip of it, just kind of slide that on as far as it needs to go, hold this down for about 10 seconds. If you guys are looking for iron to use for your HTV projects, this one's pretty good. Um, it does have the uh, steam that you can turn on and off. And let's see how this, oh, that was hot. And that there turned out super cute. And I wasn't sure how it would do with the, uh, that being felt like this, but it actually turned out really good. Now I always say it doesn't have to be perfect, it is homemade. So however yours turns out, I'm sure will be awesome. And put that on there. And do the same thing with the other ear. Shotzi! She, you guys, she is just, I mean, literally every day, I'd say, like, around this time, which it's about 9 in the morning, and then about 5 o'clock, right before my husband comes home, she just starts acting like a wild animal. Like, I just, like, sprinting everywhere and just being so vocal, and it's hilarious to watch, but of course, as soon as I pull out my camera and start vis videoing her, she stops. It's like she knows. Oh, those turned out so cute. Okay, and then now all I have left is the little scarf, which it pulled down a little bit. I'm just gonna put it back up. I'm gonna do the same thing with the scarf, which might be a little bit more difficult since it's just kind of positioned there. I'm gonna be getting right up underneath his neck there. I'm just gonna do the same thing about 10 seconds um, for this. Oh, that turned out so cute. And, oh, it did look like, so I probably shouldn't have gotten much longer on that because it did look like some of the um, black from this flannel part did come up, so. But that is it. Oh, it does look so cute. Yeah, I'm glad I made this for myself. 
keep one for myself. But if you guys are wanting these, um, I would suggest going to get them as soon as possible because I guarantee you there's crafters out there just picking them all up so I can sell them around town. Um, people usually sell the elves and they're even selling these for about $5 a piece. So if you guys are in a location where that's pretty popular, um, then I would go for it. But here in Denver, they're not at all. So I just want to make a little fun one for myself. And there we have it. If you enjoyed this video, please click subscribe and I will be coming out with some more fun ideas for the holidays.